yeah, I also wanted to share some things, like some random thoughts. Um, when I'm writing notes or something, I have a lot of thoughts streaming in my head and they don't come out until I write them down. So I write down these thoughts very frequently and they're usually like in the back few pages of like my book because I never go all the way through like a notebook. So the main ones are my English class, no surprise. But I have several ones. Some of them are longer than others. Some of them are like shorter than others. Um, there's letters to God. There's like a whole bunch of stuff. Here's one that I recently wrote. It's really long. It's about me struggling with my eating disorders. It's not a poem. It's kind of just like a long tangent that I wrote down. It's pretty intense. <laughs> I wrote this on a three-day period of how I felt each day, where it's a cycle that I've been dealing with. It's funny. As my stomach is a rumbling avalanche of rocks, it is empty. I am physically hungry, but the idea of a salad is so unattractive. Zaxby's and Popeye's used to catch my eye, but now thinking of them is thinking of grocery shopping in a dumpster. Today is a day of anorexia where I feel weak, but I'm able to breathe in my emptiness. Today people cannot bring up food, and TV commercials must only advertise clothes, except for the panties and bras because the models make me feel fat. Today is the day where I am uncomfortable in the skin I've lived in for 18 years, and I lay down to feel my hip bones because I crave to be a skeleton. I fantasize about using the same knife that butchers use to be my own surgeon and to extract the roaches so there's nothing left to squish when my skin is sewn back together. They tell me that I need to eat more. All that I hear is a familiar echo and screech. You're dying. It's like, yeah, I could spend countless hours trying to consume the Chick-fil-A sandwich, sweat sugar and cry ranch, or I can breathe weekly push on and feel my hip bones. The next day I wrote, yesterday was the day of the anorexic. Today is the in-between day to bulimia. I try to consume the bugs I'm fed at this camp of Christians, but each leg I crunch and each sip of blood I take, I feel the others crawling under my skin. Pressing and pushing on each other, my body is the very definition of overpopulation. I can only set myself free by putting my finger to the back of my throat. I make it through a bite of bread, meat, and cheese as their full mouths sing in harmony about their favorite toxic mesh of food. But each happy song makes me cringe. I'm always jealous of how swiftly they can do this. I won't throw up. I choose not to breathe today. The next day I wrote, as the in-between day fades, the day of bulimia begins in its trickery. This day feels its own hands in a demon's joy, while licking the slime off arrows in its mouth as it watches my poor soul believe that the storm has passed. Roaches became pizza, Zaxby's became mouth-watering. This day starts as a victory dinner. Until I notice the crumbs on my lips and the sauce in my throat will grow. Standing after this meal becomes a roller coaster ride that slams my insides around inside my skin. I can't stop thinking of the roaches inside me as they come to life. They try to climb up my throat and pound on my teeth. I have to clench my fist as if giving birth. I don't blink. And the day of bulimia laughs. I have fallen into his trap. Either I throw up and fall again in an unlearning cartoon on his black and white screen, or I fight in pain, plug my mouth and swallow after each gag, letting him enjoy my suffering. The day of bulimia is the day that I hate most because it fades into the day of anorexia. Look, <laughs> almost dropped it. So yeah, um, that was some of the things that I've been writing lately.